What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm gonna be working on the square body for a while in this video here. Um, we had plans to pull the LS donor engine out of the uh, donor truck, uh, but we are not snowed out, but we got quite a bit of snow, probably six to eight inches, and the truck is covered in snow, and I don't feel like messing with the snow, and I've got plenty of other things I can do in the meantime in the square body. So uh, in this video, you'll see what we decided to do instead, which was uh, disassemble the core support, uh, blast it, paint it, get it back together, so then I could hang our uh, new to this truck uh, fenders, and then we got the doors and the fenders gapped, um, so you know we can everything set where it's going to be. So now we can go on to the body work in the uh, coming videos. Uh, but be looking out uh, if you're going to be looking into the LS swap on that truck. Um, as soon as the snow melts a little bit, maybe in the next week or so, we'll be getting that engine out uh, and, and getting some goodies on it so we can get it in this truck. So uh, here's uh, the video of. Uh, what we did instead of uh, getting on the, uh, the LS swap stuff. All right guys, I got all this uh, core support taken apart. This is in really good shape. He told me it was newer. This, uh, I guess he was involved in a fender bender a few years back. So all this stuff is newer. So all it's gonna need is cleaned and scuffed and I'm gonna paint it. I do have all the uh, headlight buckets and all the little brackets off the front that I'm gonna blast and paint those. Uh, then we can get this back together and get it on the truck and start fitting our uh, fenders and hood. So let's get going on that. Had uh, sanded and painted these bigger pieces they turned out really good. Uh, shout out to my buddy Ed for the sandblasting on these smaller pieces. A lot better than wire wheel and sand and all that stuff. A lot quicker is to blast them and paint them. So I'm going to get these pieces uh, painted here, let them dry, and then we'll start uh, putting all this stuff back together and getting on the truck. Managed to get the uh, all the core sport painted, put back together. He's, you guys see it on the time lapse. Um, so now I'm going to move some, do some car shuffling, move the Camaro, get the truck out, and uh, went to Restoration World, which is we're really lucky. It's local to us, parts house here for. I think they do mainly. Actually, I think they only do GM stuff now. Uh, but there's talks of them expanding and maybe doing some other stuff. But either way, right down the road we got uh, Restoration World that does. Uh, a ton of different uh, parts for our, our GM builds. So we just got back from there. We got the uh, new uh, core sport bushing so we can get this on and we can start fitting our fenders and our doors so we can go from uh, body work from there. <clears throat> All right, guys, I got my new uh, bushing kit, my core sport laid out here. So let's go grab the core sport and get it set up here and get it loosely uh, bolted in. I'm gonna start on this side, just, uh, you know, I'm really tired over there, so I'll mess with this side here, film this side, so you guys can see, and then I'll probably do that side over there, uh, off camera. 
but I put quite a bit of time already into this door, getting it where I want it to fit. I mean, it, it's not perfect, they never are, but for a square body truck, I'm pretty happy with it. it uh, let me see here. Shuts and opens. I mean, just, for anybody knows anything about these trucks, they're kind of weird to get them right, the doors without having to slam them shut like crazy. So I've got a good fit. My body line here is pretty good. I'm even all the way up. It gets a little bit wider here uh, than down at the bottom, but overall it's about where I want it to be at in the, in the hole. So we're going to roll with this door like this. Uh, and then I'll come back later, as you've seen on the Nova, if you've been following along on that. Some of the body work to make these gaps really nice. I'm not sure though I need these gaps quite as perfect on this as I do on the Nova, just because it is a truck and it's going to be used as a truck when it's done. So I don't know if we're going quite for that show quality quite as much as the Nova. I still want to be nice, but I, you know, there, there's a little bit of a difference here. Um, so yeah, this door is where I want it to be uh, as far as in and out, uh, closes good, opens good and all that stuff. So now I'm gonna move to getting this fender fit. That was the idea, you know, get the course board in, start fitting these fenders um, because I think they're gonna need some work. Like I said, these doors are off of a different truck. The fenders are off of a different truck. Um, so it's gonna take some work to get everything just right. I did buy a bolt kit front end bolt kit. I've uh, got all the old bolts, so I'll be able to use those as reference of where all the new stuff goes, but uh, I didn't want to take time to mess with all those rusty stuff, and most unbroke anyways. So, got a new bolt kit. Uh, like I said, doors where we want it to be, so let's start uh, fitting this fender and just kind of see where we end up and see how much time that's going to take us to get that uh, rolling along on that. So. And that kit comes with all new shims. The, so it's been a little bit since I took this apart, so I don't know where what shims went, but it doesn't matter anyways. The fenders that were on this and the doors that were on this, they, they're they not gonna be there anymore. So let's just uh, see what we've got here. loosely throw the bolt in to hold it obviously. Just to start eyeballing it to see where I'm at right over there. Grab another one of these other bolts here. Now I got one in here. I'm just gonna run with one for now. The other bolt back there is lined up. So we'll run with one there. Boy, that really shows that this old, uh, these old springs on this truck were really sagging because these are the same tires that were on it. And these fenders, the old, old fenders that were on it was cut way out here to clear these tires. So that's gonna be a good, a good look for this truck. Okay, so. Okay. I'm gonna get my 
my shims out. Start guessing here. Because I can already tell that that fender is naturally wanting to sit up higher than pulling it straight down to the cow. Actually, I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure I want to shim that. The body line is pretty, pretty close. All right, I'm gonna throw you guys on the time lapse because this is gonna take some time and I think it'd be pretty boring to <laughs> watch all of this process, but I'm gonna keep you guys watching. Uh, I'm just gonna throw you on the time lapse so you can kind of see what's going on. But uh, like I said, this could turn into a, an hour long video really quick if, uh, if I keep you guys a regular time watching this. So I'll throw you on the time lapse and we'll, uh, we'll get going on it. Right, guys you seen uh, in the time lapse that I had to uh, massage this hole down here from the inner and the outer rocker where they meet up just you know par for the course for these uh, all, all this uh, sheet metal that comes from overseas but hey at least we have something to work with to uh, fix these old vehicles so um, there we go um, but uh, yeah this fender here is actually fitting really good um, it's an even gap all the way down a little bit wider than, you know, paint stick or whatever, but that's just, you know, it matches the, the back, uh, door to cab jam is, this, you know, width wise the same, same way on the front. And then, uh, I don't know how much you'll see over here. It's really tight, but also got this fender fitting pretty good. Be a little bit strong there. Well, not really just a little bit, but, um, down this side. It's actually really nice for all these parts being from different uh, trucks. It's coming along really nicely. I was going to go ahead and hang the hood, but uh, I don't have any help right now to get that up there. And usually I take them off and put them on, you know, by myself. But being that this cowl is painted, I'm not going to attempt it and mess up anything at this point. So, uh, you know, that's uh, going to wait on that. Um, I am going to end this video here, though, because... I have a feeling we're going to be getting into a little bit of a long video uh, if I don't. Uh, but being that I've got the door shutting the way I want to, and I've got the fenders fitting the way I want and all that stuff, um, the hood, you know, I'll make it work one way or the other. I'm not going to move the fenders to make the hood fit, uh, not after I got the, the doors and the fenders and everything where I want them. And they are tightened down to the core port. So once the hood does go on, we'll tackle that once it comes. But in the next video on the K20 here, um, I'm going to be uh, – I've kind of roughed in. It's been so long, I can't remember. But I know that fender on that side, fender door on that side over there have been roughed in. This fender has not. It's actually got a little bit of rust to fix on it. And this door, I don't think, has been roughed in. I think that side's been roughed in bodywork. This side has not. Uh, but either way, on the next video, I'm going to be getting all over this thing as far as the bodywork goes. I've got to do the top of the cab still. There's a big dent in the top of the cab I've got to fix. 
And there is a little bit still to go on these uh, uh, cab corners. Um, so, and in the back of the truck too. So, but yeah, I'm going to cut this one here. Um, so stay tuned. I'll be putting out another video on this one probably in a few days, actually, maybe, maybe a week on the body working on this one. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and, uh, we'll uh, see you guys on the next one.